first part of this warm up, start off in a quadruped position, hands underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips. You'll keep your spine in neutral. Reach out with one arm, reach back with the opposite leg, hold for five seconds, try not to tip. Place your hand and your leg down. Do the same on the opposite side, reaching with your hand and then your leg. Hold for five seconds, place it down. If your leg tends to cross over the middle, try to instead reach it off to the side. That way your body is balanced and you're working on contracting in your core. Do that five times on each side. From there, move into a regular forearm plank. Down on the ground, you'll tuck your toes under. Pick your body up away from the floor and hold as long as you can, trying to squeeze your glutes as you hold, keeping your eyes forward toward the front of your mat. Next, you'll move into the cat-cow exercise. Quadruped position again. Knees are separated underneath the hips. You'll lift the forehead and the tailbone as far as is comfortable and then round the spine once again as far as it's comfortable, forehead down and tailbone tucking. Do that five times in both directions. From there you'll move into a side plank. Place your forearm down on the ground, bend at the knees, and then pick the hips up off of the ground, holding for at least 20 seconds or as long as you can, and then repeat the same on the opposite side, bending the knees, picking up the hips, and holding to try to match the same time as on your first side. For the next one, you'll go into push-ups. Hands will be down underneath the shoulders. You can do these on your knees if you need. Shoulders will your chest will come down to the ground and then push back up and try to get in 10 of those. For the last part of the warm-up, you'll simply stand. Allow your feet to be a little wider than shoulder width. Toes will turn out and pump out 10 squats. And then you can start your workout. 